The first house I ever bought, I paid $19,000 for it. It's worth $570 today. To buy a house or not to buy a house, that's the question. What's up everyone? Ed Unet here, your favorite real estate agent here in Savannah, Georgia. And I am here to help you answer the age old question of, is it time to buy a house or is it not, to buy, not time to buy a house? Um, a little crazy, I, I know interest rates have gone up, uh, inflation, elections, all this other craziness in, in, in the world. But the key question for most people that I talk to is now a good time to buy a house. Well, that depends, okay? Um, I got a couple of things I wanted to share with you and uh, one of them's a, a, a chart on historic interest rates. And when I bought my first house in 1993, okay? I paid $19,000 for it. That was in the midst of another uh, real estate downturn, uh, crash, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I bought it from uh, HUD, the uh, Housing and Urban Development, which it was part of uh, an RT, RT, the RTC, which is the Resolution Trust Company, which was a, a, a government body that was set up to help sell foreclosures. I paid $19,000 for this house. Interest rates back then were 10, 11 percent. Okay, uh, today they're around six, six and a half, I think. Um, they fluctuate. They might have gone up uh, as of this video because they just raised interest rates yesterday, but. My point is I paid $19,000 for this house. Guess how much it sold for in 2021? $490,000. Today, Zillow has a Zestimate on it of $571,000. <laughs> you didn't hear me wrong. I paid $19,000 for it in 1993, okay? I looked at the pictures. 80% of the house is exactly what I did to the house back in 1993 my kitchen, my bathrooms, my, my flooring, the front door, everything is the work I did in 1993. And today, Zillow says it's worth $571,000. Now, Zillow is usually five to 20% off. So that's on the high side and the low side. But even if they're 10% off, 15% off, okay, that's still $500,000. I paid 19 grand in 1993. So my point of telling you this is that interest rates, when you see this chart, they go up and down and up and down and up and down. But buying a house is a personal decision. And if you need a roof over your head and you are secure with your job, that's the number one thing. If you're secure with your job, you know you're gonna stay someplace for five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 years. The average right now, average uh, home ownership uh, tenure length is uh, 13 years, which is one of the highest it's been in a long time. So if you're gonna stay in a house for 10 years, interest rates really don't matter as long as you can afford your payment. And if you're secure with your job, I would say buy a house, buy a house now. Interest rates go up to 10, 11, like they were when I was basically a kid. Um, actually, when I was a kid in high school, they were as high as 19 or 20. And you'll see the graph, I'll put the graph up, uh, it'll be in this video a few times. but. They were up to 19, 17. My, first, my parents' first house they bought that I can remember kind of being able to understand what was going on. They bought a townhome in Aurora, Colorado. Um, I think their interest rate was 16%. That's insane, okay? But what did they do? They bought a house, we needed a house to live in, so we bought it, we lived in it, it was beautiful, great pool, great amenities. And then as interest rates went down, they refinanced. Same thing today. Interest rates were at seven, six, okay? You get a loan, interest rates jump up, you're, you're happy as can be. I got a 6% rate at 10%, six looks low. Interest rates go back down, who knows, they might. Okay, you can refinance. So you get it, you lock in at six, goes down to three again, you refinance, okay? You lock in at six, seven, it goes to 10. You're very, very lucky that you got six. But the most important thing, the number one question is, do you need a roof over your head? And then number two, are you stable with your job? And then just buy a house you can afford. That's my two cents on the big question of if you should buy a house or if you shouldn't buy a house. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. My phone number is 912-844-9000. Text me, call me, or message me on any of the social media platforms. But as always, thanks for watching.